Namaste, namaste. What can I do for you? What is that thing that your late queen used to wear on her head? It's called a crown, my friend. And the big huge diamond in the middle is called? Beautiful. It's called Kohino Diamond and it belongs to India. No, it does not. Yes, it does. What is mine is mine. And what is yours is also mine. Tell me, my good sir, if an Indian researcher wants to do research on Maharaja Ranjit's golden throne, where should he go? Apply for a visa and come to the British Museum. And a Mayan researcher doing research on Mayan artifacts? Come to the British Museum. Egyptian artifacts? Cambodian artifacts? Chinese artifacts? The British Museum. Can anyone tell me how ridiculous it is that the Chinese researcher must go to the United Kingdom to do research on artifacts from China? We Egyptians have had to do that four years ago. Dr. Hawass, so good to see you. Salam, my friend. What gives the British the right to keep all our national heritage items? We are the best custodians for all items plundered from our colonies. Really? And what about all the 2000 items which went missing last month? Clerical error? You got to be kidding me. Not only did you people steal from China's old summer palace, but you also burnt it to the ground. Standard operating procedure from the British Empire Menu, Article 1, Line 23. That is called no manners. And by the way, we would still like to have our Rosetta Stone back, please. Oh, by the way, our Iranian friends are complaining that you Western fellas scream so much about human rights. But the fact of the matter is that you stole the 2,000-year-old Cyrus Cylinder, which is the world's first record of human rights. We are British of Great Britain. What is so great about stealing? Give, Give it back. back. Give, Give them back. back. Give it once, twice, sold. Who are you? Christy, what a famous auction house. No matter what you have, we can sell it for you. Oh, for us, to be more exact. <laughs>